Hi, my name is Rob Hampton. My wife and I run the hospitality house in Vicenza to minister to soldiers and their families. We work alongside the chapel and we have really enjoyed this men's retreat. I want to thank you for sending the Pierce Band over. They have greatly added to the worshipful atmosphere and helped soldiers uh, from Vicenza, who I'd like to introduce to you here, uh, really focus on what's important. Got Kevin here, Tyson, Brian, Gary, and Tom. And they're each going to talk to you in a second, but I'd like for you to understand that this afternoon, many of us were sitting around a lunchtime table hearing the message and understanding that we need to keep Jesus Christ first in our life. There are soldiers who we've met who've gone downrange and haven't come back. This reminds us, encourages us, keeps it first in our mind that we've got to, that there is a spiritual war going on and we want to get the gospel out. So hear from these guys and see how your effort, your contribution, your love and your support have helped them this weekend. Uh, my name is Gary Luna. I'm a section leader in Infantry Battalion. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for uh, for coming out. We need we need people like you to come out. We need spirit-filled bands. We need spirit-filled churches. We need spirit-filled Christians. We need spirit-filled teachers. We are, our resources uh, over the sea are very little. We need people like like you guys to support us to come out here to help us. Uh, I'm in charge of eight soldiers. Um, just to let you know, right now I have. Um, I have three of those soldiers who have families. Most of them are, are, there's not a single Christian in my squad, not a single one. Most of them don't get to hear about Christ uh, except through me. Most of them don't get, uh, don't have, don't feel they have church resources. Most of them, uh, most of them are pretty hurting. They, we, we live, we, we live pretty busy lives. Uh, most soldiers are needing friends, needing friends who have positive influence. They're, uh, as you know, we, we live in a foreign country, so you can drink at 18. Uh, they come over here and they go nuts. They go absolutely nuts. They need a positive influence, not just positive, but they need a Christian influence. They need that. Uh, there are f I, I can almost count the number of Christian soldiers I know on, on both hands. I'm Brian. This is my first time here. It's been an extremely uplifting experience. It's, it's really been something else. It's really helped me uh, as far as the average soldier, what they think. They... From my team, knowing my team and talking to them, they're pretty lost. They don't really, they don't, I would be lost too if I didn't have Christ in my life. I wouldn't know what to do with my day-to-day -day life would just be, we wake up, we go to work, and then the weekend comes, everybody goes out and drinks, and then they wind up just not enjoying life. And more than that, they wind up hating it to a point. Hi, I'm Tyson, uh, just an average Joe stationed in Vicenza, Italy. Um, I'm a medic, so I have a kind of unique uh, knowledge of soldiers and their feelings. Because um, a lot of the guys, you know, they call you doc, so they come to you with their issues and stuff, even more so than they go to some of their friends. And uh, so a lot of guys are, are struggling with, um, that I've seen, with drugs, with, with alcohol abuse, with all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, so. One of, the, one of the biggest things they need is a positive influence, like these other guys have said. Uh, I would say the typical day for a soldier, as, as some of these other guys have said, is they go to work, they get off work, um, they go drinking, they go to strip clubs. The only thing to do over here um, with, like, that you can do in the evening is like, that's, that's for most soldiers is to go to like a club, a strip club, a bar. Um, all those involve drinking, and it's just it's not a positive experience for anybody. Some things we could use are more caring people, and um, I guess a lot of people don't realize that, that other people care um, and, and, and how much other people can love them because here people are so worried about what other soldiers think and what other soldiers, um, you know, are going to think of their decisions. So many times have I invited people to church and, and they've said no and kind of laughed about it and made a joke about it. and made fun of the fact that I'm going, you know, they call me like the, the Jesus guy, like I'm going to go learn about God. And, and I smile and say, yeah, and you know. Hi, my name is Kevin Smith. I'm a relatively new platoon leader with the unit in Vicenza. And unlike the rest of these guys, I didn't get the chance to deploy with the unit. But one thing that I can say for sure is that these guys are, are, are being very modest and and how they're describing their the the sense of isolation and and almost hopelessness that they sense 
each of these guys are are just one soldier in a in a company of about 98 to 120 and a lot of times they're they're the only christian in that unit they are they're isolated and just the the feeling of of hopelessness that that can give these guys is is so powerful and even for me as a as a new platoon leader i've felt that but um one thing that we need as just for the the christians here is is prayer to to be able to stand up and be strong in christ and and be an example to these soldiers um as far as the soldiers go um the problem in in europe is is just I would almost say out of control. The only thing that can help it is is God, and Jesus Christ is all. He's the only answer. I mean, Europe itself is a dark place. We we know that it's only three percent evangelical Christian, but to say that Europe's a dark space is is almost an understatement because Vicenza and the the military community there is just in so desperate need for the love of Jesus Christ. And, and we need um, people to intercede for us in the States. We need people to, to come and visit us and bring, bring hope and, and just a, a fellowship to, to encourage us in our walk. Um, and just some of, the, some of the problems that the soldiers are facing uh, for instance, we've had a, a number of attempted suicides. I mean, the common perception of a soldier is, is somebody that's rough and tough and, and always well put together, but that that is so not true because even as a soldier, we are very human. And I mean, a lot of times, it, because of that perception that the public has of a soldier and that, that's, that pressure that's put on us, it, it causes us to hide what's really going on. And, and that's true of every soldier. And they're, they're so desperate for, for Jesus Christ. And what, what we're trying to do here is take back this energy that we've gotten from the weekend and, and just reach out to the community and, and break those chains of, of sin, the, the suicide, the hopelessness, the depression, the alcoholism that are just rampant. We are, are going to, to try to be God's hands and feet to break that power of sin. I'd like to just give you one more thought. When these guys go down range, they're going to leave their families behind. And during the last deployment, uh, we frequently had between 50 and 60 wives and children who'd show up at the hospitality house. And they needed encouragement. In fact, one church sent over childcare workers just to take care of children for a month. So there is no limit to the creativity that uh, you could use and how to support these guys who are here for you.